your twin step. Welcome back to Game Devs Play Games, where we play games and talk game design. And we are back with more Franbo. We're about to get a shovel, I think. Or not. Or there's nothing. Hmm. This is not wonderful at all. I need to find something else to dig with. Well, that's Well, lame. great. Wonderful. Oh. oh. There you are, friend. Look, I found us a pair of shovels. Let's dig. So... <laughs> Never mind that I just tore up your car for no reason. <laughs> Stab him. <laughs> uh oh. Well, now we'll have to come up with something to open the coffins. Ah, the crowbar. <laughs> they're stuck. I had a crowbar in my car. Uh, they're stuck. I had a crowbar in my car just in case, but I couldn't find it. <laughs> oh, I took the crowbar, sir. I needed it to open a door. Do you want it back? No need, friend, but you can do the honors of opening the coffins. Yeah, go ahead. Look at your decaying parents first. All right, sir, I'll open them. This is messed up. It, it, watch, he's going to, like, throw us into our grave. Oh. Mm. Mm. And finally... Oh. That's Mr. Midnight. That's unsettling. Woohoo, I'm not in the coffin, coffin great. But that can't be my kitty because Mr. Midnight is home. Or is he? Poor kitty, I wonder if you had a name. Well, I'll name you Albert. She named the dead cat. Oh, she named him Albert. Yes. <laughs> but I guess you wouldn't take that as a compliment, would you? Is the bed comfortable? Well, sweet dreams, Mommy. Oh my goodness, Father, the deedle. De deadly, de deadly worms. worms. Deadly it's worms. It's all my fault. <laughs> Do you see anything that could bring us closer to the killer? No, sir. I just feel really bad doing this, seeing my parents like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, that dead cat is not my cat. They're lying. Fran, I told you your cat was missing, and maybe this one is actually your cat. It can't be, sir. I did find my kitty. You have to believe me. Take me home, and I'll show you. Please. All right, Fran. I'll take you back home. I'll take care of this later, and I still need to find some clues. Are they just going to leave this open like that? Thank you, sir. Let's go. I guess so. Well. That's messed up. Yeah. Oh. Oh, man. What is going on? Okay. Oh, Vanished okay. into the hands of darkness. That's wonderful. Everything's good. You have no manners. <laughs> I'm not afraid of you anymore. I've taken away from you the light. The one you love. The one you respect. And the one you desire to love you. Before demon guy. What is happening? You broken little girl. The house of madness invites you inside. If you want to find those you love, in darkness you must wake up. So quiet all of a sudden. Wake up now, Fran. Wake up. Hmm. All right. Everything's great. Chapter 5, The House of Madness. Okay, let's stop for a second, though, and talk about Chapter 4, Part 2. There wasn't really much puzzle solving to be done. No, I think the point was... More story-based, it felt. Aunt Grace, is that you? Yeah, okay. Um, but I, I agree. I think that the point of it was, uh, maybe they separated it because, you know, we're away it's two from separate it, parts. it word yeah. and we were dealing more with Dr. Dearn. Yeah, that's fair. Um, so it, it really did feel like there was a divide. So kind of breaking it up into two parts kind of had a, a logical sense. Yeah. Even if it was shorter. Yeah. It just felt like weird. <laughs> I, I agree. I don't think it was necessary, but yeah. I, I don't disagree with their choice. That's fair. Okay, well, we can continue. My darling, you finally woke up. You're you're at home, my dear. A am I? Really? Th that's incredible. I'm so happy to see you. Please give me a hug. Soon, my darling. 
And where is Mr. Midnight? Your cat? Well, you know he ran away after what he did. What? He ran away? But what did he do? Well, your cat killed my sister and your father. He is a traitor. That's not true. It can't be true. He didn't do it. It doesn't matter if it's true or not. In the end, we must have a guilty one, right? But you can't blame Mr. Midnight. He is my best friend. But it's easier to blame somebody else than taking responsibility, isn't it? I will always take responsibility for my actions, even if they are not so good. What a good girl. Rest now, my darling. You need it. But Aunt Grace, don't leave me. Why am I chained to the bed? Because your hands do bad things when they are untied. What are you talking about? Uncuff me now. I have to go find Mr. Midnight. Little, little shining Fran, don't you worry about the lies. The seeker of the truth will always die because the evil will never hide. Little, little shining Fran, go to bed and sleep tight. And forget the pain inside your mind. You were selected to suffer, to cry and hate. But the darkness wants to free you from all disgrace. Sleep tight, my darling Fran. Yeah, sleep tight after that wonderful poem. Yeah, it's pretty messed up. Oh no, don't leave me here. Aunt Grace, come back, please. Why is she acting so strange? Why blame Mr. Midnight? Kitty, you couldn't have killed my parents. His claws are too ti- are so tiny and soft. <laughs> soft is not exactly uh, how no. I describe cat claws, but I hope he is fine. What should I do now? Well, tick tock, tick tock, crazy sound. It never stops. That's the bunny. Okay. Oh, oh I no, see. never mind. It no, is... no, no, it's her. It's her. All right, now that I think about it, the clockmaster said that time is a layered reality. Maybe there's another version of me in this room, in another time. Or am I just imagining things? But if it's true, how could I make contact with her? Dr. Dearn said that everything is in my head. Uh, maybe this is time? Do, do, no. Do, do, do. Nope. Do, 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 do. Nope. Hmm. Bring out the, uh, bring out the gato. Do you have a secret in your tummy, Mr. Cat? Hmm. So maybe it's not about items right now. Oh, I love this comic. <laughs> hmm. Oh. oh. And the wind took all the magical dust away. Oh, hello. What are you doing in my bed? Are you sick? Your bed? This is my bed. And no, I'm not sick. But you are chained. Are you a dog? Wait, do I know you? I'm not a dog. And yes, I'm chained. Can you unlock it? Oh, you are myself. You really are. You think so? Then this means that I managed to enter the ultra reality. Did you meet Edward already? He always talks about that. Yes, I met him already, but I haven't seen him since the crash. Oh, you crashed. That means you are broken. I'm not broken. Why would you say that? Think about it. The only way to cross into ultra-reality is to break the eyes, to break the ears, break the physical limitation. That sounds extreme. You think I'm dead? No, not at all. They told me that to die is just a mental state. They? Who are they? All the creatures that we can see, the black ones, the white ones. Do you know why we can see those things? Yes, a man called Leon came to visit once Whoa. and told me everything. Uh-huh. Oh, and can you tell me then why we see the things we do? What about if I help you unlock the handcuffs first? Then we can talk. Good idea. I also need to find Mr. Midnight. I think he's in danger. Aunt Grace blames him for the death of your parents. Or our parents. Who's Mr. Midnight? What? That's our kitty. You know, our best friend. I don't have a cat. I guess that's the difference between us. Anyway, let me see if I can lock you. It so happens I'm a key collector. (laughs) I'll be right back. What if... Kill her. No, what if Mr. Midnight really is the the demon? The demon? Maybe. But my question would be, if that's the case, why? Like, why has he done anything that he's done? Oh, it's Palantras and Edward. Wow. I think Palantras is funny. It smells like bubblegum. bubblegum. (laughs) Well, she's definitely in an asylum. So this is Fran from like a different time. The key collection. Okay. I hope I can lock that key for Fran. Some of my clothing to make shows. I don't feel like drawing right now. Uh, one blue, one blanket, black, one, one white. 
the blue scarf from Wintertime. Hello, Dr. Oswald. Oof. This is the other doctor. That's the other doctor. That's the crazy doctor. Let's see which key. This one. Yeah, that one totally looks like the key. Right, I won't fit. I'll move this one next to it. Yeah. Aha, it unlocked. Oh. Bam. Two tries. And then one of those keys maybe for... Um, that's what they call me. Two try Chris. Midnight. Two try Chris. Um, oh, that's smart, actually. Mm, <laughs> I don't like two try Chris. <laughs> Thank you so much, Fran. Hee <laughs> hee. You really have a lot of keys in there. Yes, don't you? Oh, Fran, before I forget, Palantras told me that if we met someday, I should give this to you. Oh? Here, I think this will help you to open some... Oh? Oh. The little golden box. Palantras. Oh, no, that's you. Palantras, you know him too? Wow, thank you. Yes, he also told me that if we met, you'd be ready for what's about to come up. Oh. What? Ready for what? Tell me. No, no, I can't now. She's coming. Be quiet. Ooh. Oh. Her. Come on, friend. You must see the doctor now. <laughs> so. I was waiting for her to be like... Who are you? Why are you doing no. in this bed? Why, why are there two of you? We're gonna take you both. <laughs> no, don't go, little friend. We have stuff to talk about. That nurse is bad. Bad, bad nurse. She was the one lying on to the newspaper about me. Anyway, I must find that the monster. I'm sure he took Mr. Midnight. But nobody can take my kitty away from me. Nobody. Yeah, except Mr. Midnight is the villain. Whoa. Okay, so let's, let, let's read the little let's her. Yes. The little golden box was having a hard time. All the screaming and the boogers were driving me mad. I press it by the ears, first twice to the left, and once to the right. I rub it on I rub its only eye two times to see if it has tears this time. I take him once by the left ear and scream, Stop whining, you little golden box! Press your eye again and open the door. Okay, we are going to yeah. take a picture of that, because yeah. that's the clue to get that box <laughs> open, probably, maybe, hopefully, I'm going to find that camera. All right. We're taking pictures, it's not cheating, because it's the clues they give us. <laughs> it's the clues they give us. It's just, like, easier to remember They're going back this and way. forth yeah, and back and it's, forth. It's just, like, tedious. There's no need to do that. Okay, so. We don't have photographic memories. <laughs> Examine. Okay. So rub the eye. Right. So all the screaming, the boogers were driving me mad. I press it by the ears. Okay, so the ears are this, those, right? I mean, oh no, those are these. Oh no, those are the ears. One, two. Uh -huh. First, I press it by the ears. First, twice to the left. Okay. Oh, I messed so up. So one, two, mm -hmm. and then once to the right. Okay. Uh, da, 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 once to the right. I rub its only eye two times to see if it has tears this time. One, two. Oh. It, I probably needed to reset it. Okay. So, one, two. One. One, two. Uh, and the see if it has tears. I take him once by the left ear and scream. Stop whining, you little golden box. And then press your eye again. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness, it opened. I'm a master! Oh, uh, oh. There's some rules. Palantros knew, dude. He gave Ooh, us the key Palantros for our cat. Palantros is the man. Mabuka, Mabuka. Wake up, Mother Mabuka. The horned child is playing with the light. The vo Balokas is angry and shining too bright. Mother Mabuka, wake up, wake up, and give up the child before the darkness ends in the hands of the light. Mabuka must wake up. Let's build the Ekag clock on the back of the giant cat. Too strong are the bubbles and too bright the light, she cried. Me, Mabuka, the mother of darkness, will open my heart. Please take my little horned evil child and shut down the lights. Hmm. So the Ekag clock, designed by Cogwind. Cog when that little watchmaker guy from uh, Ithersta. Yeah. I think I must so, wake up Mabuka. I feel like we're going to need these bulb, things. Wake up clock. Yeah. So bar, one glow, black wire, piano keys, bottle with water. Okay. Okay. Well, f then let's. Oh, uh, wait. I need. Oh, nice. <sighs> Use that key. Oh, boy. Um. Um. Ooh. 
We see the ultra reality now. Also, the microphone's a little high for you now, buddy. Oh, okay. Sorry about or, that. There you go. I well, now that you're it. sitting up. Sorry, straight. I was just like <laughs> getting into it. So, is there anything here we can take? That's my guess. Translating now, ballerina. Yes, all in place. Take a look at that clock up there, maybe. Ooh, good call. Nope. He, I painted this one. It's Kitty and me. Oh, oh, lovely. Okay. Excuse me, is somebody down there? Yes, I'm somebody. <laughs> Hello, have you seen a black cat? Uh, no, I have not seen a cat, but I do see a black thing eating from me. <laughs> eating from you? I think it's Kamala. Are you alright? No, not really. I don't feel very well. I feel sad. Well, I may be able to help you. I got rid of a Kamala once all by myself. Really? That sounds promising. I'd love to be happy again. I'll see what I can do. Don't worry. Don't leave. Oh, no, it leave hurts. me. Oh, Lord. Everything hurts. <sighs> Everything dies. Let's see what's in here. Balloons. Perfect. Bam. Do we need balloons? This is okay. Maybe we should Balloons are not on that list. Okay. <laughs> great. Off to a great start. <clears throat> Can I take the button? No button for you. I like, want to check the pockets. I feel like there's got to be something. Hmm. Well, let's see what else. There's a couple other things in there. Creepy doll. Yeah. Oh, hey, look at that. My school case. Okay, well, that's all that's in there. Huh. You get that sock? You can use this mirror to see my beautiful face. Aw, oh, yeah, Fran, you are pretty. Oh, who's that? Oh, this is Alice from school. We like to play together. That's the Alice in also... Wonderland? That does look kind of like an Alice in Wonderland. It's like Cheshire Cat, too. Yeah. That'd be interesting if that's like, kind of like... Yeah, like a connection to Alice in Wonderland, because that's what it absolutely looks like. I mean, we did draw that comparison yeah, in earlier. an earlier episode. Yeah, we did. Huh. Oh, there's pictures of Mr. Midnight. Or a little over time. Um, okay, we can come back and... In the next epidouse. Get more of these dings. <laughs> Crayons, Lady Gnome, Teddy, Ballerina. Oh, I wish it stayed on screen longer. Hmm. Okay, yeah. We'll, we'll come back to this. We'll come back to this. So, this question is, of the day. Interesting. Um, question of the day. I don't know. <laughs> this is a poor time to change microphone. There you go. Ah, ha, ha. <laughs> Much better. Hmm. Well, I kind of want to wait on talking about the um, the door and all that until we go through. Well, it. The, even the overall narrative, right? Yeah. Because I feel like we're getting so close to the end that that one might be best saved for last. For the end, yeah. Um. Hmm. Well, let's maybe talk about what we what we think will be behind the door. Or, the old or open I mean, up. we can make it less game designy and say, like, do you think that from a narrative perspective? Well, I guess it's a little game designy. Mm -hmm. Do you think from a narrative perspective, it would make sense for Mr. Midnight to be the villain? I think that's a great question. I think that's, I think that's a good question, especially now we're, we're nearing the end of the game. We're not sure what's going on, mm -hmm. like about who's doing what. Yeah, who do you think? Do you think Mr. Midnight is the big villain of this game? So give us a comment if you uh, want to answer that question today. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and please vote for the next game you want to see us play because we're gonna play it all the way through. And we're so close to being done with Franbo. So close, so close, so close. We'll see you in the next episode.